Hello people, I'm Pasha Siraja and I'm going to give you a uh, short uh, demonstration of uh, Ubuntu 9.10 aka Comic Koala that's the latest version of Ubuntu and it's basically a open source totally free operating system based on Linux and um, you can download this for free totally uh, or just you know get them to send you a free CD comes in about a month or something um, in the UK and uh, you can do that from www.ubuntu.org okay so the first thing is um, the what do you call it the desktop uh, this is my desktop um, and these are the icons uh, these are the partitions on my internal hard drive so if I just turn on the external hard drive uh, should pop up pretty soon. Uh, I just started it up and it's gonna mount it. And what else do we have here? And by the way, if you if I position, yeah, there you go. Uh, these are big downloads. Okay, so if I position this here, it's always gonna you know show the icon there. Even if I disconnect it, restart the PC, then connect it up again. And uh, that's a nice little feature there. And what else? Uh, so yeah and I totally removed Windows XP from here and uh, and I've only got um, Linux running on it right now so as you can see it's uh, pretty powerful I mean it's actually encoding on the fly uh, meaning it's actually encoding the video while I'm recording this so it's got how much 100% uh, use I think probably yeah it's 100% in use and it's got a system load of I don't know uh, yeah 1.63 that means I'm um, giving the processor 63% more than what it can swallow and let's go to videos and you know play something at this time okay surrogates uh, AVI by the way this uh, is actually a XWID um, video and yeah, it's playing it and let's have a look if it's possible to see okay uh, 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 yeah there you go it says xwid it's a uh, xwid uh, codec requiring thing and and yeah I mean as you can see it's totally real the desktop cube the infamous desktop cube and it's not uh, faking anything uh, like in Windows 7 they've tried to you know fake this thing uh, and uh, whenever you go into desktop cube mode everything stops as you can see it doesn't stop in this case and what else do we have um, uh, I've uh, binded the buttons to go next next phase and you know you get uh, you can have from 1 to 32 workspaces you know and it's uh, pretty cool and if you increase it to 5 then you're gonna get a uh, pentagon as you can see it's a pentagon and things like that um, if I go and just change it back to 4 because I like cubes okay close and what else do we have? Uh, if you just go here, start up a terminal. Mm, there you go. That's the that's like the command prompt. Uh, and this is very powerful actually. And uh, I learned this because uh, it's also useful for my Apache server running on a Linux server um, for my website. So yeah, it's pretty useful. So a sudo su means um, super user do and super user root so I'm actually just become a super user and uh, I'm like you know um, you know like a super user for the computer basically so I can do anything um, from from this position here um, yeah and what else do we have uh, yeah we have the network here uh, volume buttons um, network and uh, as you can see I didn't install anything my wireless doesn't work on Windows XP for some reason but it works perfectly over here and uh, that's my 
um, what do you call it, my uh, rotor in the house, uh, I'm actually connected via the wire, so yeah, and Bluetooth also without any drivers, it just, you know, it just works, that's it, and battery works perfectly, and the empathy, sorry, email, cli I am client, uh, this is very really cool because um, you actually can have multiple accounts on here, like uh, you know all these I've got three accounts connected right now uh, you can have all these as well uh, would be nice to have Skype on here that would be great because uh, all my conferences and you know all the job works going on Skype and you can download Skype for Ubuntu as well it's pretty easy and what else um, yeah I mean system monitor that's a system monitor you know you can add or remove them and you know change colors all types of things and all these panels are totally uh, you know editable so unlike windows uh, you can just you know add to panel you can just add few new things to it and things like that edit and uh, you know make a whole new panel if you want you know like that and it's gonna make a new panel there and what else we have um, yeah we have the virtual box I'll show you the virtual box uh, system tool virtual box so uh, this is because I have a um, what do you call it uh, I'm a programmer for Windows uh, because I need it uh, for my A2 projects my college projects so I've installed Windows XP onto the virtual box and I'll give you a short tour for that as well okay, I'm running out of time uh, should have selected director's account in 2006 anyway um, so Windows XP is starting up and this is virtual I can give it any devices I want and all that and what else we have until then I'll, I'll just show this to you it's called the Ubuntu Software Center it's a new addition to Ubuntu where you can just go and download anything you want and until then I'll show you the temperatures thing and the time, temperature and all that is totally inbuilt so you know you don't have to worry about too many things okay there you go so I have a few things going on okay it's pretty cold here as well um, and you can just double click any date and it's going to open up your calendar and all that so over here you can download and install anything or manage installed programs I'm going to close that for now What else? Yeah, Windows is starting up. Uh, what else can I show you? Okay, starting up, starting up. There you go. So this is basically a virtual um, machine. So no one has to worry about uh, you know having two operating systems on a PC. You can just have a virtual machine. Okay, something's wrong. Uh, duplicate. Okay, anyway. <laughs>